This is the Cholo News Report for Sunday 29, April, 2018. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un stated during his summit, meeting with South Korean President Moon Jae-in, that he would close the country's Punggyeri nuclear test site in May. Seoul had also shuttled between Pyongyang and Washington to set up a potential meeting between Kim and Trump, which is expected next month or early June. In his conversation with Moon, Kim denied that he would be merely clearing out damaged goods, saying that the site also has two new tunnels that are larger than previous testing facilities, Iron said. Protester Azam Awiada, 15, dies of injuries sustained when the Israel Defense Forces shot him yesterday. As the death toll in Gaza rises, Israel is facing growing criticism for using live ammunition against mobs of Palestinian protesters in the past month. Mourners carried his body, wrapped in a Palestinian flag, to a nearby mosque for prayers before burial. Egypt opens the offer, crossing into the Gaza Strip for three days, saying it is to be used by students, those requiring medical assistance, and people with permits to enter Egypt. Egypt occasionally opens the offer, crossing to the economically battered enclave slipping into a worsening humanitarian crisis due to crippled infrastructure, lack of supplies and severe unemployment. On Friday, four Palestinians were killed including a teenager in clashes with Israeli security forces as thousands participated in the march of return along the israel Gaza border for the fifth week in a row, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. A suicide bombing in a restaurant in Galkeo, Somalia kills three military officials and two soldiers. Eight more people are injured, some critically. al Shabaab claims responsibility. Colonel Abdihukan Abdullahi Mohammed, the commander of local joint security forces and soldiers, was among the army officers who died in the bombing, Yusuf said.